our week 12 defensive streamers. Let's dive on in. I got five of them I really, really like this week. I'll go in order of what I prioritize them. The first being the Kansas City Chiefs facing the Rams. Even if Stafford was playing, it's the top matchup for fantasy defenses right now. They are trotting out third stringers on an already abysmal line. If there's one thing the Chiefs do really well as a defense, they give up a lot of points, but they are great at getting to the passer. Five sacks in three of their last four games. They've actually been the seventh best fantasy defense across that span. So already a top 10 option now with their best matchup of the year. And then they might get Bryce Perkins, a third string quarterback here. And yeah, he brings a little mobility. So maybe that's not... I probably prefer the statue of Stafford with no weapons pack there behind a bad line. But Bryce Perkins is likely to turn that thing over. So you got touchdown upside. It is an opportunistic defense that gets after the passer. Uh, they could shut this team out completely. So I really, really like the Chiefs. Plus, you got a great playoff schedule, too. There's a little bit more benefit than just a one-week stream to the Chiefs. You got Denver Week 14, Houston Week 15, Seattle, not the best of matchups in Week 16, but then Denver again the worst offense in the league twice in their last four weeks. Oh, baby, you got to love that. So Chiefs at 48% rostered. My first option, the Jets, though, far more talented than really any available defenses at this point. I think a top five defense in the league. And the numbers back that up in terms of scoring. Like they're holding offenses to the seventh fewest points since the last 11 weeks. And yet they're only six and four because Zach Wilson is just an absolute piece of shit. But that doesn't matter, especially with Zach Wilson potentially getting benched this week. 47% 47% rostered. The Bears, have they been on fire? Yeah, Justin Fields is playing out of his mind, but there's a good chance Fields with a dislocated shoulder and a lost season could get sat this week. And even if not, do you think they're going to be running him around and using him as that dynamic threat that's made this offense so capable these last few weeks? I don't know. I'd be highly surprised to see that. The Jets also have six, five, and six sacks their last three weeks against a team giving up the second most sacks in the league right now. And sure, Justin Fields is tough to bring down, but that line is awful. This pass rush is insane. So I really like the Jets to turn them over, to get to Fields, or better yet, Trevor Simeon this week. So if there's somehow out there in your leagues, go get your Jets. I also really like the Dolphins, and it's not because their defense is great. Most metrics tell you they're not a great defense at all. But they get Houston, and what is better than this? Five straight top 10 defenses the Texans have helped produce. Davis Mills has thrown at least one interception in seven of his last eight games. They have not scored more than 17 points in the last month. Their highest scoring game on the year was 24, and that was way back in week four. They've given up three plus sacks in seven of their 10 games. Davis Mills sucks. This team sucks, and they are a great spot for any defense. I think if the commanders can put up 19 fantasy points against them, then really anybody can because the commander's defense is not good at all. So check out your Dolphins if they're out there. Check out your Colts if they're out there. 30% rostered at home against the Steelers. We know how insane the turnover rate right now it is for Kenny Pickett. He's looked pretty good. He's willing to chuck it, but he also turns it over at an extremely high clip, one of the highest in the NFL. And the Colts are coming off, locking down the Eagles, one of the best offensive units in the league. Three sacks, two takeaways, only 17 points against one of the better offenses in the league. And now you get one of the worst, 27th in total offense for the Steelers, 28th in scoring, 5th in giveaways, uh, 14 in uh, total on the year. And they're just 4th in fantasy points allowed to defenses right now. So a great matchup at home for a defense that just came coming off a great effort against the Eagles. Plus, you're kind of bleeding the clock off and with Jonathan Taylor. Good spot there for your Indianapolis Colts. And last but not least, on the other side of the ball, more boom, but also a lot more bust potential is the Steelers. They didn't come through last week, only two points. My bad if you played them, because I recommended them as one of my favorite streamers. Uh, Didn't come through, but they are, you know, the the Bengals are really turning things around. So that was an easy sit here. Uh, Now you have the Colts. They're tied for the league lead in sacks allowed. They rank 31st in the NFL in scoring at 15.7 points per game. Uh, And the AFC, they're one of the most generous defenses. They're third most points, two defenses, even ahead of the Steelers right now. So with TJ Watt back, with Minka Fitzpatrick getting healthier, I really like the Steelers as an opportunistic team that can get after the passer, turn this team over. All they got to do is stop Jonathan Taylor. (laughs) Big task for sure, but could see the Steelers having a nice day. So again, I rank them Chiefs, Jets, Dolphins, Colts, and then Steelers as my favorite potential streamers. 
What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.